As a rider, safety is part of your routine. It's second nature. Does that mean safe isn't exciting? Or could safe actually make everything else possible, like jumping higher or running to rope that calf? Safe gives you the freedom to ride the way you love. And safe provides high quality nutrition you need to have confidence all your horse's needs are met. Make safe exciting with safe choice feeds. Learn more about the full lineup at neutrinoworld.com slash safe choice. I am. I am a young. I am a young. I am a young. I am. And I am a young. Black. A young black. Young. A young black. Black. Black equestrian. 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 Black equestrian. Equestrian. Black equestrian. Equestrian. Black equestrian. I'm a young black equestrian. I am a young black equestrian. Hey everybody and welcome back to Young Black Equestrians, the podcast. I am your host, Abriana Johnson, and I am so excited to be here. I hope I didn't come in too strong, but I'm really excited. I've also had coffee, but I'm really excited for this season. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you exactly why. This season is season six for YBE. There has been so much change and growth since the very first episode in, what, 2019? That I just, I am just so appreciative of every listener, every share, every comment, every message, every email. Y'all, I'm just... I'm just so thankful for everyone on this platform, and I just appreciate every minute that you take to listen to the stories and the content and the advice that is shared here. So that is the first thing I wanted to get out of the way. Happy New Year. Happy holidays, all those things. I hope that you have started off this new year right and have you know, if you set resolutions, I hope you are sticking with it. It's, it's uh, at the time of this publishing will be the seventh day of the year. So I hope that first week of the year has been good to you and you've been able to uh, press on with those goals, priorities, resolutions, all those things. So I wanted to do a quick recap of season five because it was the first time that I did a very uh, strategic and planned season, only 10 episodes. We had a first sponsor, whole shebang. So in season five, I shared my trip to New York and how I saw the Buffalo Soldier statue unveiled and at West Point in New York. I went to the New York uh, Equestrian Center and met with Dr. George Blair, who used to uh, run the the New York uh, Rodeo. I talked to several amazing guests, uh, Andrew Pierman in Charlotte, North Carolina. He has Frisians and some other random breeds that he uh, trains and sells. We talked to Aoife Fit or Aoife Simmons of Aoife Fit, who is an equestrian fitness trainer. Talk to Cam Davis, who is a Mustang trainer, and she does a lot of liberty work and positive reinforcement. We talk to Brandon Alexander, who is an actor out of California, who is trying to be the next Chadwick Boseman, okay, Wakanda forever. We talked to uh, Chelsea Rose. She works with a saddle club out of New Jersey called Crazy Faith Riders. And they do a lot of work in the community in New Jersey. So we talked to a whole range of people and also shared some um, some tips and advice. It was a couple episodes, um, one on confidence and you know how to feel like you are enough or or what to do when you feel like you're being told that you're too much because as people of color black people 
especially black women. We are often told that we are too much. So if you need a confidence boost, go back to that episode and listen to that. And then we also did some conversation around prepping your horse for the winter time. We are in the swing of winter. It was 70 degrees yesterday. It is 42 degrees today. That is the high, crazy climate change winter weather happening for us here in North Carolina. So I hope that you are safe where you are, hopefully not in the, the areas that have been snowed in over the past couple of days. So that is pretty much what we did uh, in season five. Oh, we also introduced our newest sponsor, which is Cargill Neutrina. And so you'll continue to hear some sponsored episodes from them this season as well. But we uh, also are opening up to other opportunities for sponsorships, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. So season five ended at the end of January or end of uh, December. And so we are cranking it back out. January of 2022 with new episodes, new conversations, and new uh, new insights on, on this industry. This season, uh, episode nine will be the centennial episode, number 100, 100, okay? I don't know. I'm trying to do it with my hands, but you know, maybe it's this way so that you can see. Don't mind me. Episode 100, y'all. Can you believe that? Can you believe that there are, this season, there will be 100 episodes of Young Black Equestrians? I've been doing a countdown on Instagram and there are, I believe, 80 of those, 80 of the episodes? 80 or 60, I can't remember, but interviews, interviews with people all around the world, okay, from the UK to all over America, to the islands, like the people are all over the place. And we have interviewed that many people and heard that many stories And no two stories are the same. No two stories are the same. And I just think that that is incredibly beautiful when it comes to looking at this industry and saying, where do I fit in? You literally fit in wherever you want. You can do and be whatever you want to be in this industry and those episodes and this podcast really in general shows that it really does it really does we talk about the passion culture and lifestyle of the black horse industry that has always been the goal that has always been the lens that we look through on this podcast. And so when it comes to what you can expect from us, I just want to remind you that is what it is. And I say us a lot because it has become a habit. But when I say us, I mean that there are going to be new collaborations this year. And I'm super excited to share them. But this platform, although I am creating the content for it, it's ours. You listening to this as a Black equestrian, me hosting it as a Black equestrian, this platform is for us. So there are a lot of goals that I have for this year that I really want to build on that relationship and kind of solidify YBE as this place where you can come and get information. That being said, celebrating number 100, episode 100, there is going to be new merchandise on the website. I am in the final design stages and 
or I'll say development stages because I have to just upload them to the website um, for some new collections of merchandise. Um, I'm going to retire the Her Story and His Story shirts and bring out some, some new designs as far as apparel, but as well as some different products. So you'll have to stay tuned, follow uh, YBE on social media so that you can be the first to know. Also, if you go to our website and join the email list, you will be the first one notified, but you'll also get, um, discount code celebrating season six of this podcast next um the opportunities to engage and invest in the work that has been done since 2019 a hundred episodes i am updating the sponsorship packet so we've had a couple sponsors in the past and currently have one still running. We are going to uh, open up more opportunities for sponsorships. So it'll be sponsored posts on the social media platforms, sponsorships of the episodes, sponsorships of events. I'll get into that a little bit later. And sponsorships of some new opportunities that I am developing. So a new sponsorship packet will be ready very soon. I will update you on that when that rolls out. And with that, the website will be getting a little bit of a, a, a overhaul as I prepare to have a little bit of a fresh image for YBE. So speaking of sponsors, Let's hear a word from the sponsor of this episode. Neutrina presents an uncompromising approach to superior nutrition. Nutrient-dense Empower products are scientifically designed for low feeding rates. Empower Boost provides added energy in the form of high fat to help your horses work harder, train longer, and perform better. Digestive balance supports overall gastrointestinal health and helps maintain normal gastric pH to keep them feeling their best. Empower Top Line Balance focuses on top line health and improvement and now includes chromium to support insulin resistant horses. For more information on Empower products, visit NeutrinoWorld.com. All right. So let's get into some of the goals that I have for YBE this, this year. This year, Sky Daddy's 2020. 2022. Lord have mercy. Um I have created goals for this platform several times over, and there has always been, you know, work, life kind of getting in the way and delaying those goals. I realized now that there was just so much of a responsibility for me and only me to make it happen that. When I got overwhelmed with life, YBE was put on the back burner. So the goals for this year, 2022, really involve around making connections and sharing this platform so that the community that has been built around this, this, this content and this brand really feel like there is a connection there and and the the engagement is there you know i want to cultivate this community and empower people to ask questions and share the new things that have happened in their lives with horses with their equestrian journey just riding if they don't have their own horse with some of the challenges that they've overcome because Truly, when we start sharing those things that we've gone through, there might be someone who has never commented, never replied, never liked, nothing, but they can learn something from your experience. And that's why we share experiences of myself and other people 
who identify as black horsemen and women. Not only do I want to cultivate the community by being more active in the Facebook group, I want to identify and, and bridge and create opportunities for black horsemen and women. I feel like the opportunity to get on this platform is a really big one. Honestly, I mean, looking at the analytics, we have almost 800, 800 to a thousand downloads within the first week of a podcast episode being shared. So your voice, your story, your message, your delivery, your challenges, your triumphs, that being shared with almost a thousand people weekly. And that's just in the first week, a thousand people weekly. That is huge. That is huge. And that is not something that I take lightly. So I really want to open up the opportunity for pe more people to get on this platform since I am truncating the seasons to just 10 episodes, just to give it some structure and opportunity to breathe, there are going to be other opportunities to share that message, like having more discussions in the Facebook group and connecting in different events and things like that. I want to continue to empower Black horsemen and women to share their stories on their own platforms. There's been so many resources that have popped up recently. So many equestrian facilities being built. Shout out to Saloma Acres in South Carolina. Shout out to Chicago, Equest Chicago Kids Equestrian Center that's being built in Chicago. Like I have seen come across all of these, you know, entities growing through Instagram. And I am just so thankful that I will soon be able to share the impact and the, the goals of these individuals and their programs. And for us to have spaces built by us and for us throughout the country in the horse industry. So I, I want to continue to spotlight that. Um, Going back to, you know, really cultivating community, one thing that I wasn't able to do last year because of the sheer overwhelm of, you know, my life, <laughs> I wasn't able to put together the kind of annual events that it happened in 2020 for us. So I have some events in the works, which I need to, uh, iron out and I will share at a later date. But uh, in 2020, we had an event called Diversity on Horseback. And it was a three-day conference where we heard from a mental health care provider, um, Brittany Chambers, who was a lesson program consultant, and Nashawn Cook, who was a horse trainer, about their experience, um, their suggestions for their areas of expertise. Uh, we're going to be doing that again this year. It happens in March. So you'll start seeing some more information about that soon. I have an event later on in the year that I'm working with a couple people on that's going to be a freaking game changer, not just for Black equestrians, but for the industry as a whole. Um, I'm really excited about it. And I think that it's going to really push the envelope and hold people accountable for the words that they said in 2020. Okay. Talking to you guys who posted the black square. Okay. Thanks. Uh, and then in the, in the Facebook group, we do this thing called fireside chats. And so I've scheduled those out for the next three months, uh, getting back to those week weekly conversations, because we used to do that a long time ago. And it was so much fun we play games and things like that. And I'm going to get back to, uh, scheduling those out in advance. So, you know, to come and, um, Really, if, if we want to have structured conversation, we can. If we want to play games, we can. It's really just some time 
for Black equestrians to get together all over the country, all over the world. We have our good sis Renee from the UK that <laughs> hangs out with us at like two o'clock in the morning her time. Uh, I appreciate you, girl. But um, yeah, it'll just be an opportunity to really connect with these people that you see on line all the time. So in order to do those monthly calls, uh, you do have to be in uh, the Facebook group. So if you go to our Instagram profile, you can see the link to the group um, in our bio. Or you can go to facebook.com slash groups slash YBE fam. And you'll be able to request to join. Some of the uh, opportunities that I want to create this year um, really come from reclaiming what work I've already done. So I'm not sure if you know, but there is a resource called the Black Equestrian Network, and it is a map of Black uh, businesses, horse businesses, trainers, entrepreneurs, you know, events, saddle clubs. It is a resource. It's a map. Uh, what we call modern day green book of the black horse industry. And I built that um, in 2020 and has since neglected it because the, because of reasons. So in order to not spread myself too thin, but to still take advantage of that resource and give people the opportunity to get put on the map, I have rebranded Black Equestrian, Black Equestrian Network to be YBE Connect. And so if you go on our website, you'll be able to see the map. You'll be able to access the map. You'll be able to still uh, input your business, fill out the form and put your business on the map. And if you have any changes or anything like that, you can just shoot us an email if you're already on the map. But this is just an incredible resource for someone to say, hey, I'm coming through Georgia and I'm spending some time with my family. I would love to get some horseback riding in. Where can I go? You pull up the map and Sufa Ranch is right there for you doing trail rides and group events. You know, that is the type of opportunity that this resource brings. So check that out, youngblackequestrians.com slash connect. Um, you'll start to see more transitioning of that, that content and announcing that Black Equestrian Network is now YBE Connect on social media and stuff after this episode airs. With that, um, I get emails a lot <laughs> from Black Equestrian Network of people looking for different places. And so I will start posting that those in search of posts onto the YBE account so that we can start having conversations and throwing resources out there for people to, um, to find, to find what it is they're, they're looking for. And for people to be able to, you know, sell themselves like, Hey, it's me. I do this over here. Come on, I will show you what it is. You know, we really want to just make those connections so that people can find the resources that they're looking for and business owners, saddle clubs, events can get the support that they need to continue to thrive. With that, I am one single person. <laughs> I record the podcast, produce it, edit it, write the show notes, edit the website, make the connections, do the social media. I do it all. So there will be, as soon as I can get my hiring manager, put on my hiring manager hat, 
<laughs> as soon as I can get my my stuff together, my wording together for that, I will be bringing on a team member to help manage the YBE platform. So if you are interested in that, feel free to send me a DM or an email. I need to iron out the details. So this is very premature, but it's holding myself accountable to ask for help and to follow through with that. So if you are interested in coming on to the team, this opportunity will be paid um, for YBE, obviously part-time. This ain't no, we ain't that, we ain't that fancy. Get us some sponsorships or something, okay? But it will be, you know, a few hours a week, paid opportunity. Hit me up in the DMs or send me an email, youngblackequestrianstp at gmail.com. Um, but I need, I still need to iron out the details for that. So I'm just gonna put you in the forefront of my mind. And then with opening up to, or publicly, publicly sharing sponsorship opportunities, I am in the process of developing a grant. Excuse me. I apologize. I am developing a grant um, through YBE. Um, I've really been thinking about this uh, for the last couple of months and was trying to decide why or, or how to form this. Is this going to be a scholarship? You know, do I want to form a mentorship? Do I want to... Um, you know, create some sort of, you know, big ambassador program. And I'm still toying with those possibilities, but I want to do something that is not really out there currently. And so if you don't know, I am a a full-time caregiver for my grandfather and I just won a grant for unpaid caregivers. And the requirements for this grant were for, I had to submit my story and really share, you know, what I do on a daily basis. But the requirements as far as the spend of the grant were literally spend it on yourself. Take care of yourself. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And so that is what I have kind of in mind for the grant opportunities through IBE. I'm still ironing out the details on that. Um, I'm, I'm going to be ironing, ironing, ironing a lot of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, now you see why I need some help that's actually going to help me, right? Um, so again, Updates will be shared as the season goes along, but that is what I have kind of in development for this year. Not necessarily season six, but this year in its totality. Um, and I guess the last, last YBE update I have to share is that we're gonna be doing some more collaborations. Um, and some actual impactful, you know, work. So the first one is going to be a four-week challenge, a four-week challenge with Aoife Fit of, well, with Aoife Simmons. I need to remember it. That's his business name, Aoife Fit. Aoife Simmons of Aoife Fit. He is the owner of the Equestrian Fitness Academy. And so we're partnering with him at the end of January to do an equestrian uh, fitness challenge, a YBE fit challenge. And I believe it's going to be $15 to enter the challenge, but you have the opportunity to win uh, depending on how big the, the pot is, the, the gift card will be at least $100 or more, depending on how many people uh, participate. 
you'll get a hundred dollar store credit to the YBE store and you'll get a free fitness strategy call with him. So that's an hour to figure out what it is you got going on. Uh, what can make it better? How can you be more fit to ride? How can you perform at your best? We're going to have those kinds of, uh, the, those are going to be the, the top three prizes. Depending on how many people we get to opt in, we may have tiered prizes, um, but right now that is the grand prize, okay? So if you want to have the opportunity to win, over $300 worth of prizes uh, for only a $15, you know, commitment, then yeah, join the YBE Fit Challenge, okay? Because I'm super excited. I just, I was, I was one of them basic people who uh, <laughs> joined the gym at the beginning of the year, okay? But I've been going, I've been going, all right? So I'm going to do this challenge and um, it's only, you know, we're going to do group workouts. We're going to do, or you're going to be responsible of doing two to three workouts a week. He has an entire app that you log your workouts on. And that's how we can hold you accountable for what you've done. And um, yeah, then you get to win prizes, cash money. Okay. Cash money money. So there'll be information going up about that very soon. Um, we're going to start garnering interest, but it will start at the end of January, January 28th. So put that on your calendars and yeah, get excited because I'm super excited. All right. So I believe that is all I have to share with you in this first episode of season six. Thank you for rocking with me for another season. Share this episode with a friend. I really want you guys to hold me accountable for these things, okay? Because we are a community and we hold each other accountable and support each other. And I appreciate y'all. I really do from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. Oh, I kind of forgot. Every Wednesday, we do Winter Circle Wednesday. So I want to see you on Winter Circle Wednesday as well. Honestly, the first one is going to be, I guess, this week, this past Wednesday. But yeah, I want to see you there because for over a year, I've showed up almost every Wednesday to share the good things that have happened in the week and to get some motivation to finish the week out strong. And honestly, sometimes, sometimes I didn't want to show up. Sometimes I was tired. I had been working all day, staring at the computer. The last thing I want to do is stare at a phone and try to talk to people. But in those moments, and particularly on those days, they are the days that we have some of the best conversations. I mean, some of the best people just hopping on Instagram live with me and sharing the good things that are happening in their lives. So if you are feeling like you are down about your horse journey, or you just aren't able to make things work or make those connections, then hop on Winter Circle Wednesday and get some of that inspiration, see what other people are doing, ask questions, you know, share your experiences. And let's really get the conversation going because Honestly, if you've been on a Winter Circle Wednesday that has just been like, you know the power that it has. You know the beauty in those lives that happen, you know, within an hour. That also being said, if if y'all decide y'all don't want to come that day, I don't stay on there for the whole hour, right? I'll give you a good 15 minutes to show up, share your wins. I share my wins, share some motivation, bing, bang, boom, bing, bong. <laughs> But if you don't want to be, if you're not there in 15 minutes, I'm going to just peace out and move on with my day. Okay. Okay. So come to Winter Circle Wednesday and yeah, you can connect there. You can connect there. And that's for everyone. Honestly, that's for literally all the YBE supporters, all of them. So 
yeah, that is the last thing I needed to share. So again, share this episode with a friend, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can watch the episodes on YouTube. You can share them via YouTube, uh, comment and let me know what is something that you're really excited to see from YBE this year or something that you would like to see from YBE this year. Let me know because I am always all ears. I am open to new opportunities. I'm open to what it is that you are wanting to see or that you feel like is missing from the conversation about horsemanship, Black horsemen and women and the representation that we have in this industry. So thank you so much for watching, listening, sharing, engaging, commenting, inboxing, emailing, all those things. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you in next week's episode. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Young Black Equestrians, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player as well as over on YouTube. And you know what? Do me a favor. Leave a review over on Apple Podcasts. Doing that makes it so that this platform and this content get shared with Black equestrians all over the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode and I will see you next time.